Stories of the Companions, Chapter 8, E. Hudhaifa's Anxiety Regarding Future Tribulations. Hudhaifa radiallahu anhu is one of the well-known Sahaba. He is known as Keeper of the Secrets. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam had confided to him the names of Munafiqin, and he had told him in chronological order all the tribulations which al Muslimin were to face till Qiyamah. He gave them he gave him full details, the name of the mischief maker, his parents' names, his community, etc., about any incidents that were going to affect three hundred or more people. Hudayfa Radilahu Anhu says, Other people used to ask Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam about good things. Why well, I always asked him about the and Aya events so that I may guard against them. At Aya. Okay, that's not there. Um, of the the last sign stuff. They're mixing Latin and Arabic, I guess. Um, he once asked, Ya Nabi'ullah, shall we revert to evil after the good that you have brought us? Rasulullah said, yes, the evil is coming. Hudayfa asked, shall we have goodness again after that evil? Rasulullah said, Hudayfa, read Al-Quran, meditate on its meanings, and follow its commandments. But Hudayfa's anxiety did not let him stop here. And he asked, O Nabi'ullah, tell me if goodness will come after that evil. Rasulullah said, Yes, goodness will come again, but the hearts of the people will not be the same as before. Hudayfa asked, And will there be any evil coming after this goodness? Rasulullah said, Yes, there will be such persons who misguide the people and take them to Jahannam. Hudayfa asked, What should I do if I am alive at that time? Rasulullah said, If there be a group of Muslimin united under one emir, then join them, otherwise disassociate yourself from all such factions and be secluded in a corner or take refuge under a tree, i.e. in the forest, and be there till you die. As Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam had told him the identities of the Mafiqteen of that time, Mara radiallahu anhu used to ask him, Is there any Manafiq among my deputies? He once replied, Yes, there is one, but I shall tell you his name. Umar radiallahu anhu dismissed the man, probably by his own judgment. Whenever somebody died, Umar radiallahu anhu would ask if Hudayfa radiallahu anhu was participating in the Janazah Salah. If Hudayfa radiallahu anhu did not do so, then Umar radiallahu anhu would also be would also absent himself. From that janazah. When Hudayfa radiallahu anhu was about to die, he wept in anxiety and uneasiness. People said to him, Are you weeping over your departure from this world? He said, No, I'm weeping over that. I love to die. I do I weep because I do not know whether at this time of my departure from this world Allah is pleased with me or not. Then he prayed, O oh Allah, these are the last moments of my life. You know that I have always loved thee. Bless my meeting with thee.